Okay, here we have our new uh, <clears throat> Trinity Wades Reloaded extruder with this nice little high torque gearhead motor and a MakerBot hobbed gear. I'm going to put a piece of film in there, just in the gear, and close up the guidler. And I'm going to go ahead and set this here. And well, I didn't think this through very well. We go ahead and press the extrude. So you can see that this puppy is doing its thing with three mil rod. Uh, squirting it out pretty fast too. If that was actually extruding through a hot end, it would be quite fast in reverse. It is just as good. I'm not even really applying much pressure on the idler, so that's a very good sign. And these things print fairly quickly. So one more time. You gotta love that. This whole extruder assembly, including the geared stepper and the J-head hot end and all the vitamins, only weighs 200 grams total. Uh, compare that to a, a standard Wades with a normal NEMA 17 and the gears and everything, and a J-head at 580 grams. Or compare that to a Maker, uh, Maker Gear Plastruder with the direct drive stepper at 780 grams. So with one of these little guys, you could have three of these for each normal weights, weight-wise, or you could have four of these for each Maker Gear Plastruder weight-wise. And we'll just do a couple of extrudes and reverses so you can see one last time how nice this is working. back. Three mil filament. It can go about twice as fast with 1.75 mil filament without any changes. But uh, I think that this thing can print as fast as my printer can keep up. Um, motors, you know, warm but not hot to the touch. And this thing would just keep on trucking as needed one more cycle I'm not even holding the idler now or you can have springs in there this thing's just pretty cool you know I took the, the normal wades reloaded uh, open SCAD file and just modified it to remove the NEMA 17 motor mount make it a tad bit taller add some holes to mount this motor on there uh, clean out the channel inside a little bit so that you have room for this motor and the idler inside of there and off to the races we go with a tiny extruder that's now ready to be stacked next to each other for dual extrusion which is what comes next thanks for playing